Hey everyone, welcome to The Buzz. I'm Charlotte Pruitt. And I'm Brogan Craner. Today we're talking about the late Hugh Hefner and trying to keep up with the Kardashian pregnancies. And A and D are back to do some more Punk SC. It's all coming up right now on The Buzz. We're starting off our show with some breaking news. Julia Louis-Dreyfus tweeted today that she has been diagnosed with breast cancer. The multiple Emmy winner tweeted, quote, one in eight women get breast cancer. Today, I'm the one. We have no further details on this story, but our heart goes out to her and her family. And now let's get started with our countdown of this week's top stories. Starting off at number three, Cardi B has taken the top spot on the Billboard Hot 100 list. The rapper beat out T-Swift for the crown with her debut song, Bodak Yellow, Money Moves. Mm -hmm. And Cardi B is the first female rapper to top the chart in nearly two decades. This was the rapper's first song, but she's definitely going to make money move in the future. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But I cannot believe that Nicki Minaj hasn't beat her to I'm this. I'm shocked. Yeah, I mean, too. I would definitely think over the last 20 years, someone like Nicki Minaj would mm -hmm. have taken that spot. Right. I'm a huge Nicki fan, mm -hmm. so this shocks me, but I do love Bodak Yellow, so congrats to Cardi. Yeah, it's a good <laughs> song. It's a good song. And for our second story, people are mourning the death of Hugh Hefner. The Playboy mogul died at 91 in where else but his infamous Playboy mansion. Ex-girlfriend and Playboy bunny Kendra Wilkinson told E! News that she couldn't be more grateful for the time she spent with Hefner, who died of natural causes. Now, this is some sad news because Hugh Hefner really was an icon in the entertainment industry and all industries, really. Yeah, absolutely. And what people don't know is that Playboy started in the 50s and yeah. the fact that it's still so relevant today is, and that he had such a resurgence with, with his reality shows is so impressive. Yeah, and I think a lot of people forget that there were actually a lot of great journalistic pieces in there. And right. it wasn't just all provocative pictures mm -hmm. or things that people associate with the magazine. Yeah, absolutely. So we're definitely going to miss Hugh Hefner. Yeah. And the top story on our list is, of course, the upcoming Kardashian kids. Chloe, the youngest of the Kardashian sisters, is reportedly pregnant with boyfriend Tristan Thompson's baby, according to TMZ. This news comes right after the rumored pregnancies of sisters Kylie Jenner and Kim Kardashian. And if this is true, this is every momager's dream. Mm -hmm. The whole family is playing into the mystery of the rumors by refusing to confirm or deny any of them. The three sisters would supposedly give birth around February, but we just can't wait that long to see what their babies will look like. <laughs> no, we cannot. And that's why we took matters into our own hands and combined each couple's pictures on MakeMeBabies.com. <laughs> so let's take a look at what those babies look like. So supposedly, this is what Kylie and Travis's baby would look like. Who knows if that's the truth. Yeah, but... <laughs> just, just for a warning, that is the cutest of the bunch. So get ready for the next ones. Let's see the next one. That is Kim and Kanye. A little bit more alien than baby. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'd rather have Kylie's Absolutely. personally. And then there's Chloe and Tristan's. Um, mm, a little funky looking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Those are definitely some interesting looking yeah, babies. Yeah, definitely some interesting looking babies. And now, if you guys want to see other celebrities digitally conceived, tweet us two random people at USC The Buzz, and we'll show you their results at the end of the show. Because today is our first show of the fall, we are designing pumpkins. And honestly, I think these pumpkins are going to look cuter than those fake babies. Yeah, I definitely agree with you. But while we're getting started on that, students are outside guessing which baby belongs to which couple with Kendall. Hi, guys. So remember two weeks ago when we had a questionnaire of whose unborn baby is whose? Well, this week we have a match the baby to the car Jenner. We have three babies that we created with a future with a computer generated system and these so Kim Kardashian, Chloe and Kylie all three announced this week they are all pregnant. I know. It's a miracle. I I me too. I'm shocked. So, Kim is having a child with Kanye surrogate. Kylie just announced this week it's with Travis Scott, but Tyga did post on Snapchat that the baby was his. He did take it down automatically after, but we don't know. This baby mashup, whoever's is whose, is with Travis Scott. And then there's Chloe, who's with Tristan Thompson. She just announced this week he's a basketball player for the for the Cavaliers. Very exciting, very exciting. Um, so we have, the votes are in. We are counting right now. People are very excited. They're kind of scared with these faces. We don't know, well, we don't know whose is whose baby, but they're all on, they're, don't worry, they're not real yet. They haven't seen the surgeon, but we will get back to you. We are going to A&D Punk'd and we'll let you know of 
whose baby is possibly whose. Hey guys, this is A and D, and this is Punk SC. How do you feel about Kylie Jenner's pregnancy? I'm mad. I, sh I want to be the daddy. Did you hear that the baby daddy is now confirmed to be Kanye West? <laughs> For real? How do you feel about the fact that Kylie Jenner is pregnant? Um, I don't know how to feel. Good or bad? Neutral. And Kanye West is the baby daddy. Cool. Can we talk about Chloe though? Chloe as well, and apparently Kim too. Wait, shut up, no. Wait to steal each other's it's a, it's a surrogate. Right? It's actually been announced that they're going to start a baby Kardashian show called Keeping Up With Kids, and it's featuring all the Kardashian ch grandchildren. Ch How do you feel about that? Uh, I will watch it every week. Apparently they're gonna have like a baby show, Keeping Up With The Baby Kardashians. Oh, they did that That's purpose. absurd, that's disgusting. It's all a ploy, Kris Jenner's a psycho. I we find out that it's all like a plan. Like it's been a plan since oh Reggie Bush. Oh my god, this is seriously conspiracy. Illuminati's doing this. Uh, it's changes everything. It changed my life, yes, very important. Why, are you actually the baby daddy? Yes, I am. How do you feel about the Kylie Jenner pregnancy? Good. You know, I'm honestly shocked. Like, I love Kylie, and this is not okay. I'm not ready for this in keeping up with the Kardashians. Kylie Jenner's pregnancy. Uh, I don't feel very much about it. And do you think that if she or her daughter has thin lips, she'll augment them? Um, definitely. How do you feel with the Kylie Jenner pregnancy? I'm a child. Kylie Jenner is pregnant. God help us. I can't keep up with the Kardashians anymore. They won. Wow, Charlotte and I are still working on our pumpkins, but that punk segment was fantastic as per usual. Yes, I love those. So funny. How's your pumpkin coming along? It's coming along. I have a good face going on it a little bit, if you can see on there. <laughs> but um, not quite finished yet. What about you? Yes, I'm definitely still working on mine. Um, it's hard to see, I guess. <laughs> okay, I can see your face. It's going, it's going. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna toss it back out to Kendall and get an update on our poll. Hi guys, so the tallies are in. We have the votes. Right now, this beautiful baby, everyone believes that it is Chloe's butt. It's very close, that is Kim. We have a 15 for Chloe, 14 for Kim. It's not Kylie's, this is not Kylie's. The viewers' votes are in. This baby, we don't know genders by the way. All of them could be guys or girls. It's still unsure. This baby right here, this with a gorgeous 17 votes is definitely Kylie's baby. We think this is Kylie's baby. And right here, this, we're gonna assume this one's a girl. This baby is, it's, oh, this is also a very big tie, Kim or Kylie. Definitely not Chloe. I personally think Chloe's baby is going to be massive. She did it is with a basketball player. Um, and with Kylie's baby, I'm unsure. Maybe, maybe possibly a rapper in the future. I don't know. I'm now deciding of what they're gonna be doing with their lives and they're not even born. Who knows? This is what's going on out here. We're still getting votes. We don't know who's going to win yet, but we will let you know. I'm going to toss it to Isabel back for Netflix and Chill, and we'll keep you guys updated. Well, thanks, Kendall. We're now joined by Isabel for another exciting installment of Netflix and Chill. Hi, everyone. Welcome to this week's installment on Netflix and Chill. Let's talk about a few Netflix shows and movies that are leaving this month. Let's do it. Hey guys, it's game time. First right. up, we have Family Guy. If you miss seasons 9 to 14 and have a little study break, just pick the episode with the best title, and I can assure you it will not disappoint. <laughs> I will definitely miss Meg, Stewie, Peter, and Ryan's crazy adventures. Do you guys watch Family Guy? I love Family Guy. And I'm really sad about this because it's usually the show I watch like right before bed. Mm -hmm. And so I love going on Netflix and just pulling it right up. Yeah, I also watch it. Um, I used to watch it with my dad a lot, which might be kind of weird. But, <laughs> but yeah, we loved it. Uh -huh. Yeah, I used to watch it with my mom and... She, yeah, she doesn't understand it. Not so. a fan? Not a fan. <laughs> All right, up next we have 30 Rock. After seeing this hidden gem leaving Netflix, I'm suddenly regretting not getting into it sooner. Let's check out a clip. Leave the set. Final sporting call for flight 254 to Cleveland. You're choosing a sandwich over a guy. That is less cliche. I can do it. I can handle it. 
this show is basically Tina Fey's perspective of what it's like to be behind the scenes at SNL. At SNL. If you are like me and love a satirical comedy, I'm sure you guys will like watching it. I know one of you enjoys to watch I it. I love 30 Rock. In fact, I didn't even watch it live. I watched it on Netflix, binge watched <laughs> it, and i um, very sad to see it go because I recommend it to a lot of people. And... Um, it's sad that we won't be able to see it anymore. Yeah, I don't watch a ton of comedies, but when I do, it's definitely 30 Rock, so I'm sad to see this go, too. Yeah, yeah I mean, I just watched an episode last night, and I had some homework, but I definitely <laughs> look like something I, I wish stayed around longer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, up next, if you love the Beatles, you will love this romantic drama musical. You see a part of your ride. God, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> this movie centers around a guy named Jude uh, coming from Liverpool to the U.S. to meet his father. Um, he meets fate, love, and the harsh reality of war. And you learn how he gets by with a little help from his friends. Do you guys like the Beatles or does that sound interesting for y'all? It does sound interesting. I am a big Beatles fan and so I will definitely have to check that out. Yeah, I watch just about everything on Netflix so I, I would tune into that too. Yeah, I mean it's really great and you get to firsthand lift through the Beatles and, and interact with how the music goes with their lives. Mm. Well, finally, will my heart go on? Now this one I am truly upset about. We have the most iconic romance movie leaving Netflix. Let's check it out. Can we get a moment of silence for my man crush Monday, Leonardo DiCaprio, in his college fight? <laughs> I absolutely have a crush on Leo, too. So, yeah. yes, we can have a moment of silence for that. <laughs> okay, Brogan, I know I you're not. I do not have a crush on Leo. I do not. But, um, yeah, very sad to see this movie go. I mean, yeah. they're taking off so many greats. Mm -hmm. I mean, Titanic, that is one that you can watch over and over again. Yeah and still be so upset by the ending. Definitely, the list goes on and on, and I wish I could sit here and talk more about him, but is your favorite show or movie leaving Netflix this month? Tweet us at USC The Buzz. Well, that's it for the week, folks. You can either decide to study for those midterms or binge on these masterpieces before they go. Next week, I'll tell you all about the new shows coming up in October. Let's toss it out to Kendall. All right, so I know crazy voting. Our viewers were actually pretty spot on with Chloe. This is Chloe's future baby. Yes, her. She is going to have one large, we don't know the gender, four headed, beautiful child. Beautiful. And Kim's baby, with, I honestly think that this one looks more like North, but look at this child, the ears pristine. Kim, congratulations on your future baby. And our voters, they honestly thought it was Kylie, but surprise, surprise, Kim and Kanye, your third child, will look like this. And so Kylie, your first child, congratulations. Um, this is what you're, it's the cutest baby out of them all, I personally think. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but I just did. Um, and our viewers, they actually were very, very close. They thought it could be Kim or Kylie's, very understandable. Um, quick question though, this baby is born with its ears pierced. I don't know, and these two babies, they do have clothes on, while this one does not have a shirt on. I don't know these answers. The face mashup, let's hope that these children grow up to be beautiful people. Um, I'm gonna pass it back to you guys back in the studio and voila. Thank you very much, Kendall. Very interesting results. Yeah, they were pretty spot on. Definitely about Chloe, uh -huh. which I guess too. Um, but then they kind of mixed up Kim and Kylie, so. Yeah, and Kylie's know. baby did have some pretty thin lips. Yeah, it so. <laughs> I That's her know. natural lips yeah. are thin, though, so. <laughs> Anyways, but let's yes. look yes, at our pumpkins. How is it going? Um, you know what? This one's mine. You can't really see it, but um, this is Pumpkin Kardashian. Ooh, I like so it. So it's supposed to be Kim Kardashian, if you didn't catch the pun. Um, but, you know, lips and black hair. I, I really did my best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I took on President Donald Trump. Kin, and I had him say, make fall great again. Oh, wow. And lucky for me is that I didn't have to color in his skin tone because the pumpkin did it for me. It's uh, already orange. You see, you really thought this through. I did. Um, you also I did. have a catchphrase. I didn't have a uh -huh. catchphrase. And I had his um, comb over, if you can see the oh. comb over up in there. All right. Well, um, 
that's okay. I definitely did try my best. Uh -huh. um, now, we also asked you guys at the beginning of the show to mash up some babies, give us some suggestions, and we have them for you. Let's take a look. So this one is Zac Efron and Lucy Hale. Hmm. Um, I think the baby looks cute. I think that that could be accurate. Yeah. They would I mean, definitely have big blue eyes like both Zach and Lucy do. And it has like a little button nose like Lucy Hale. Mm -hmm. So I could see that for sure. Yeah, that one's pretty good. And I also think that, you know, that baby would go into acting and like mm -hmm. teen shows. That's so. right. <laughs> definitely have like a free form ABC family type show. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and now, drum roll please, we have Scott Disick and Sophia Richie's baby. <gasps> oh Let's my see god, it. Let's see what that would look like. Whoa. Oh, no. oh no. Very interesting. But pretty eyes once again. I see the Lionel Richie connection in there, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. Those two have been um, <laughs> dating and they've been spotted. We, we reported this on our last show, but they've been spotted even more so, you know, holding hands and even kissing. Um, so, you know, their baby's actually plausible. Mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> well, now we know exactly what these celebrity babies will look like because that program was so accurate. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, no fake news here. That's exactly what those babies would look like. Um, but our pumpkins definitely look better than those babies. Yeah. Here is mine. Once again, <laughs> Pump Kim Kardashian and Donald Trumpkin. <laughs> now, for you guys watching, vote for which one you like better on Twitter at USC The Buzz. We will re we will reveal the results next week's show. Yes, we will, and that'll do it here on the Buzz for this week. But come back next week for our pumpkins, more entertainment news, and pop culture segments. And remember to follow us on social media at USC The Buzz. Thanks so much. <laughs>